Welcome to the show, everybody. Welcome. It's great to see you. I'm Megan Kelly. We want to begin with this. Winter is coming. Yes, actually it's here. And for many parts of the country, there is a good chance a big old snowstorm is gonna hit. And probably right about the time that you hit the road for the holidays, because that is how life works. Uh, which can not only be annoying, but dangerous. And so today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson wants to make sure that you have everything you need for safety and maybe even survival in a worst case scenario. He joins me now, come on over here, gonna check Hi. out the car. How's it going, Mr. Rawson? I always drive in a full suit. Very nice. Always. I like how you roll. What kind yeah. of car are we in? It's like have, a, have a seat. This is this is like a minivan? Well, let's just call it a Lamborghini. Whee! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so look, so look, yeah, people can get stranded in the winter. It happens all the time, and you always say to yourself, this can't happen to me, especially if I live in a big city. Yeah. But there are times that big snowstorms hit, there's ice, you can end up in a ditch. This and you stuff have to happens. Plan ahead. You have or to you're plan sitting ahead. in traffic for a lot of hours and it's bitterly cold. So outside. let's say you, you peel off, or like what happens a lot of times is the blizzard. I mean, I grew up in upstate New York, Syracuse and Albany, so I know about the Went blizzard. Went to school in Syracuse. So yeah. you, when the blizzard comes down and it's zero visibility, yeah. and you pull off to the side mm -hmm. of the road and then you cannot start again, mm -hmm. do you stay there or do you get out? Common misconception is you should, you know, one of the, the guy of the family you know, gets out and says, I'm going to go and, and walk and try to get help. That's the wrong thing to do. Everyone should stay put in the car. You're much more likely to be noticed by emergency workers mm -hmm. in the car. They're much like, more likely to notice a car than a singular person walking in a blizzard but I think down a shoulder. But I thinking they're going to flag down another car. It can't happen. And you could also get hit by that car uh, who swerves off the road. Exactly. Stay inside your car. All right, what about the heater? Because you need the heater. Yeah, that's another big question, right? Because you don't want to freeze to death in the car, but you also don't want to run out of fuel either so you can keep it hot. Experts say the best sort of formula here is run your heater, run your car for 10 minutes an hour. And it doesn't have to be the same 10 minutes. That's and blast not that enough. heat. It is. If you blast that no, heat, it isn't. It will. It's <laughs> not enough. You can run it for it 20, goes. but then you'll live half as long because the car won't turn back on. So you, because you want the car to be able to turn back on. Mm -hmm. 10 minutes an hour is what they say. You can obviously adjust a little bit. How blast many hours will that get you? That'll get you several hours depending on how. how how much pull gas your you tank, have in the tank. How full your tank is. All right, what else do I need to know? Yeah, so here's some other essentials that you should always be traveling with. I don't care if they're expecting a snowstorm there or they're not. Water, water bottle, obviously. Bunch of water bottles. Yep. Flashlight. This is obvious stuff, but we don't do it. Batteries, trail oh, no, mix. Flashlight. Trail mix. That's that's trail mix. Good. There yep. you go, trail mix. And I love these. This is also goes to your question. Yep. Hand warmers. These are really, really That's cool. That's a smart idea. Very, very cheap. This will keep you warm in the car during the times that you can't run the heater okay. as well. What about... Oh, one other thing. I'm what? sorry. I forgot. The back seat. Packed blankets. Oh, yeah. And really we have one of those. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's actually too. quite lovely. Really Is that lovely. Pottery Barn? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they make these, and they're really nice. It's a great Christmas gift. Seriously. It's really um, nice. Okay, so got it. So you need sort of your, your go-to bag yes. in the car. in the car. Plan ahead. This is going to save your life. There's something about the banana and the tailpipe. You're oh, wait, welcome. no, just the tailpipe. <laughs> just the tailpipe. Who saw that? Who Hello. knows that movie? Um, Who knows that movie? Thank you. Beverly Hills Cop. Go ahead. Tell us about the tailpipe. Okay. What's right, the matter? I was just waiting. Know. I was waiting. I just want to see what else is going to happen. The important thing is I amuse myself, Ross. And <laughs> go ahead. Um, muff, yeah, tailpipe. Car you want to make sure it's clear of the snow, because if you get stuck and your car turns on, and the tailpipe is, there's snow against it, the carbon dioxide will come back inside the car and oh. kill you. Oh. So you need to, the minute you get stuck, the only reason to get out of the car is run to the back, clear out the tailpipe of snow, because if you swerved, you may have hit some. Make sure the snow is clear of it so the exhaust can get out of the car and doesn't come back in. Okay, got it. All right, We're now, moving, we're moving. There are other dangers lurking out there. We're moving. By Lamborghini. Shoveling the snow, is this a problem? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, so let's show you how to shovel first, right? This isn't this is kind about of cool. the heart attack. This uh, is about something yeah. else? Yeah, well, it sort of is, actually. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the ergonomic okay. one. These are really cool if you can find them. See that little bend in yep. the metal right there? Yep. These sort of help you. And you put your hand right down here. Oh, okay. yeah, well, then put that one there. Okay. Oh, and so what you really? want to do is a lot of people throw out their backs, people with bad backs like yeah. me, is you bend down, you throw the snow, and then you twist, right? You, yep. How often have you done this? Well, Here's no, what you never. should do. <laughs> 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 you look out at Doug doing it. You're like, good job, honey. Great. You look hot. This is great. Um, so you, should, you should bundle up a little more. So what you actually want to do is use your knees, bend down a little bit, and go straight. Oh. Straight. Well, then so you're, go just, up. you're just scooping it under the path for no, you to you, shovel you again. Should, okay, let's say your path is this long. I'm going to walk right towards you. Uh, all the way down here, then throw it, right? But go straight. Twisting, very bad. People throw out their backs that way. 
every but single winter. But by the winter. time you get to the top of your driveway, it's like we'll work down 40 minutes down on the thing to get it. Well, it's manual labor, no Megan. This is that. what it is. It's a snowstorm. That, don't listen to it. You're not going to do that one. <laughs> What's the icing one? All right, so here's a really cool one. If you've run out of rock salt, if you've run out of rock salt, let's say, let me just move this so you can like see. For like your driveway? Okay. Yeah, for your driveway, for your path, any of that. Here's a really easy at-home remedy that turns into the, you can make your own de-icer fluid. Okay. We have a little bucket of hot water here. Mm -hmm. Take a little rubbing alcohol, right? Just pour in a little rubbing alcohol like that. Take a little regular dish soap, just like this. Regular mm. old dish soap. Can we see it? Dish soap. Put a little dish soap in there. Oh, it like smells that. terrible. Oh my yeah, God, save yourselves. Mix it together. Woo! This right here is de-icer and will melt snow and ice on your pathway. Really? Done, that easy. What about like animals? You know, you have to watch yep. out for animals pet coming by. Pet friendly as well. Really? It's pet friendly. You're oh, all good to go. done. Pretty cool, right? It smells like death. I know, it's <laughs> awful. Going. It's not good. Pe people won't come over because it'll smell so bad, <laughs> but they won't slip. That's like the static guard that they spray all over me before I come out here. I want people to know it's not my perfume. Static guard. You should guard. see what goes on back there. What is this? Generators, generator? A generator. A lot of people have generators, of course, in case they lose electricity. A lot of people forget this runs on gas. It runs on gas cans. Mm -hmm. And what happens is people keep these in their garages, right? They don't want to have it outside. They don't want to schlep it out. So they turn it on. It's sitting in the garage. They feel like, oh, the garage is sort of outside. No. That's, again, how carbon monoxide gets inside of your house. Get it out of your and house. This needs to be outside, and you run, a, you run an extension cord into the That's house. That's an important one. This has to be outside. People die every year from that. Not like that shovel tip. This was a good one. Here's some <laughs> tough crowd, tough crowd. <laughs> Here's something else that's really cool. All right, so you get in. How annoying is this? With your kids, yourself, you come in, you're like, you know, you come out of the snow, yep. and your feet are just dripping with wetness, and it gets all over everywhere. Yep. Here's something really cool. Stuff newspapers inside. It sops everything up as soon as you get inside your house, oh. right? You know, do, maybe don't do seven pages of newspaper. Maybe just do <laughs> one or two. Say, so stuff like that, that in like that. It's going to sop everything up very quickly. Then take some, just some rocks. You can get this from Target. You can get this from Walmart, anywhere. Pour it inside of a canister like this, right? Just a little tray like this. It's a little fun game for the kids, too. Put it on here. Everything will drip down through the rocks. It absorbs it faster. And that way, your floor you is fine. Why can't you put them on your doormat like we all do? But how big is your doormat? Mine is like this big. If you have a lot of shoes and a lot of big boots. Over time, the air absorbs the water and it goes away. Well, you should go ahead and do that. For the rest of you, <laughs> you should All right, do let me this. take a survey. Raise your hand if you would really buy these rocks and put your feet on. Your it's shoes fun. On. One woman right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but this, this was important. So there you go. We've saved lives. <laughs> He's going to stop coming back. <laughs> Jeff Ross. I'm going to head out. Always a pleasure. Okay, cool. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello Today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.